welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do June, wait, no, ha! Huh. Today I'm going to do July favorites. And I have quite a few, so I hope you're all doing well and I'm gonna get started. Okay, so to start off, I wanted to start off with fashion. And I have been loving, loving, loving this, what is it? It's like a long vest. It's very, very long. And it has like a little slit that goes down the side. It's a navy blue. And I will insert a picture of me wearing it. I have it in one of my outfits of the week coming up soon. And I just have been loving this sweat, um, this long vest. I think it's so chic. I think it's so classy, but also stylish at the same time. I got that from Nordstrom's and it's very much on trend right now. And I don't like to be on too trendy things, but I do like to keep on with um, what's in style and of course keep, of course keep classic pieces. Okay, so I had to run off and uh, get a fan. So you might be hearing a fan next to me, but it's better than the AC being super loud. Okay, so where I was was that I bought my Chanel walk a few weeks ago from Sarah Layla, and I have just been uh, loving this, I guess you can say, I call it a purse, but it is a wallet on a chain, and I've just been really enjoying this a lot. It's just so carefree, so, um, and I think it's just, you know, for a quick grab and go, your essentials, I think this is super handy. So this is the Chanel wallet and chain in the black caviar gold hardware. So this has been one of my favorites as well. I think it was pretty obvious. Oops. And then I also wanted to mention, this is so sweet. These are from actually an acquaintance. So these earrings, are um, gold, ear not gold, they're silver earrings. I got it from, I go to my gym every day, it's an all women's gym, and um, one of the girls that I met maybe a few months ago, but we just say hello to each other at the gym, uh, one day after spin class, she was like, oh, Tabby, come here, I have some, come with me to my car, I have a gift for you. And um, I was like, oh, what for? She's like, I just thought you might like it. And she gave me a box, and I opened it and it was these silver earrings and I'm not wearing them today but I'll show you what they look like and um, you know and I just think that's so sweet you know uh, she gave that to me and uh, it made my day it really did and so you know we're not even friends and we just say hello and she thought I would like them and so she gave them to me and I just thought that that gesture was so sweet and I feel like um, we as women and to kind of not go off on a tangent, but you know, we as women, we um, should always be kind and nice to each other and um, you know, if there's something that you feel inspired to do, then do it. And I really like how um, she did this and it was just so sweet. And so this is my favorite. I typically probably wouldn't buy it necessarily on my own, but the point is it's the thought behind it. And so I really, these are, have been my favorites. And I do like it. It's just been a favorite just because of the thought behind it um, and the gesture. So that was just so sweet. And then next is beauty. My first beauty favorite would be, I've had this for a long time, maybe a, a good six months or so, and it's the Maybelline New York, um, the Elixir, Color Sensational, the Elixir. And it's in the color 010, and it's called Celestial Coral. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. And this is just something that I always, always grab. I'm wearing it right now. It looks like this, and it's very, very subtle. If I do a little swatch, it looks like this. And it's super glossy and I think it's moisturizing and I like how shiny and subtle it is so 
I have been really liking these color el elixirs recently, this whole month actually. And especially these past few weeks since I've been having this really lip, I don't know, condition. It almost like hurts, like it burns. But um, yeah, and I have a few other colors in it. I might do a few, I don't know, there might be some videos on it. But I was thinking about doing some swatches and looks on how it looks on me with all the Maybelline color elixirs. And these are super well priced, like I think only like $5 or something like that. So very well priced. And also what I really like about it is I have um, another color, I forgot what it is, but I keep it in my car. And um, since it's really hot, like 100 degrees, 90 something here in Texas, um, I don't have to worry about it melting because it's liquid. So I just keep it in my car. One, I keep one in my car. Just in case I don't have it in my purse, but I usually do. Um, and then the next beauty item I have is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. And I really like it a lot, and I'm actually wearing it right now. So if you look at my eyes, it's underneath my eyeliner, and it's just like a very subtle like purple glitter. And I don't know if the, the camera is capturing it, but once in a while you'll just see a little sparkle. I usually wear it at night, but... Sometimes I just feel inspired to wear it in the day. I just kind of like how it looks. And I saw one of the girls at, um, at Ulta wearing it, one of the makeup artists wearing it. I'm like, I love that because it just had like a little subtle. Today I did it all over my underline, all under like um, my eye, like on my, what's it called, waterline underneath it. But sometimes I just put it like in the center. And my mom and sister say they don't like it. They say it looks like I'm crying um, and they think it's weird. But I really, really enjoy it, and so let me know what you think. Do you think it's weird, or do you think I look like I'm crying? I, I don't know. I just like it. I feel like it kind of looks like a cartoon character, like an anime or one of those cute characters, um, but not being too dramatic. I have been really, really enjoying this. This is probably my all-time favorite spring and summer drink. It is Moroccan mint tea, and I actually um, made it. And... It is so good. I've always liked Mor Moroccan mint tea. And so my girlfriend, she, um, her and I get together to cook a lot and try new recipes. And she has a Moroccan restaurant by her work. And so they made a Moroccan mint tea that she really liked. So she bought the tea. It's like loose leaf tea and it's called green tea. It's called gunpowder uh, green tea and it's loose leaf green tea and I wish I had it but I used it on the slash last batch to make it so I just put it in this big pot I brew the um, the gunpowder green tea the loose leaf and then for my mom's garden I get like a big 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 batch of green tea um, of mint leaves and I put it in and I boil it then I add some German rock sugar which I got from Tivana it's so good and just add it, put it in the refrigerator, I make big batches and put it in the fridge and add it to ice. And it's so, it's so refreshing for the summertime and the green tea has good antioxidants. The gunpowder green tea is a lot different than green, um, the regular green tea. Gunpowder has like this like earthy, like stronger taste. It's like this like, it's almost like this, like kind of almost bitter, but um, it has like a deep flavor, a deep and robust green tea flavor. And then the mint, it just adds some freshness and just, it's good for digestion. So I've been really loving this a lot. My husband loves it a lot too. So I have been loving that. And also I've been liking this, um, this is one of my favorites. I got this Contigo um, Ice. What's it called? It's like a little straw container. And I bought it at Tivana for $15, but I also saw that they sell it at Target for like 12 something. And I just, this has been so handy. And I like the white and the blue. I think it just looks so modern and clean. So this is like my top favorite this month, super top favorite. Anyways, for nails, um, I have been really, really, oh, my nails are dirty. I have been really enjoying this white color and oh they're dirty 
let me make sure they're clean. So I've been really enjoying this white color. And this white color is, um, I tried something new. It's not shellac. And it's called um, powder nails. And so they get like powder and it turns and it forms into like this hard. So these are not real nails, but it's all white. And I've just been enjoying this so much. I think it's so fresh and so modern. And i just been really liking it a lot. I've been getting so many compliments and it just feels so, like I wear a lot of black, so black and white is just kind of, I don't know, very fun. And so typically I don't wear same colors within two weeks, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna get them filled again and wear them for a month. I just had, ah, dirty. I have just been enjoying these nails so much. The last thing I have is typically I have book favorites, but I haven't finished any books this month. And actually, to, to tell you the truth, I haven't been reading that much, and I need to get back to it. So if you have any good book recommendations, please let me know. I really, I really enjoy getting book recommendations. But I do have a substitute, and this is the Eating Well magazine. And this Eating Well magazine is just, I like to look at food food things. You can probably tell from my IG, I love food and beautiful food, and I think it's just art. And this is just like, it says where good taste meets good health. And it's healthy. And then there are, um, the pictures are beautiful. And all the colors are just, it makes me feel so happy. And I have just been really enjoying this magazine a lot. And I just love it when things are healthy and they taste good. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I'll eat unhealthy food. <laughs> As long as it tastes good, I'm happy. But to be honest, um, the majority of the time, I try to eat healthy. So yes, I've been really enjoying this a lot. Um, and actually, I just really enjoy all magazines that are food related, but especially ones that just make you feel fresh and lively. Okay, so that is it. That is all my favorites for this month as far as products go, from fashion to beauty to food to magazines. But lastly, you know, I always have a favorite person. So last month I had a favorite subscriber and this month I want to do a favorite YouTuber. So I have been just really um, enjoying a lot of you girls. Um, it's been, I think, about four months since I've been on YouTube, four or five months, I think four months, and um, just really overwhelmed by the kindness and the sweetness of fellow YouTubers that have been on before me new YouTubers and then also um, some totally like you guys the subscribers so I wanted to so there's so many hard people to choose but the first person that came to mind today was of course uh, Sam on um, YouTube Snape HBP and the reason I'm doing a shout out for her is obviously she has great content she has amazing purses from Louis Vuitton to Chanel to I don't know if she still has her Celine anymore, but she just has a good variety of like SLGs and good reviews. But what I really like about her also is that she's a fellow animal lover and she has her cats and her dog. But what really inspired me is that like it's so cute how much she like enjoys like cat her cat and dog things and she just posted a picture on IG. It is so cute. Let me actually get that. And I want to tell a bunch of other YouTubers that I like, but uh, Sam, Sam is very cool. So she's Snape HBP on YouTube and she's also Snape HBP on IG. And uh, this is so cute. Look. So she posts a lot of purse pictures, but she posted this picture and I hope you can see it of her cat boogers and I'm like oh my gosh Sam I love you even more because she posted a pet stroller and anyone that has a pet stroller is good on my book so super cute boogers in his cat stroller so yes go ahead and check out her channel I'll link her channel below great content great purses and um, I think she ha even has a cat introductory or animal introductory video which I'm planning on doing soon so yes, that's it. That's my July favorites. I believe that's it. Don't forget to comment and like. And um, please subscribe if you would like. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you very soon. Bye.